You're watching the book reviewer with Cindy Brady, where we make hardcovers soft. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the book reviewer with your host Cindy. And I have a book review to share with you, you guys. So, yesterday I did not put up a video because I did not finish the book that I needed to for my book review. So, I finished it today and you're seeing this video today. So, um, this is kind of a makeup video. You guys know that I usually don't post on Thursdays. So, this is kind of a makeup. Um, but I have another book review to share with you guys. So... If you guys have watch it, been watching me for the past eh, week or so, I think, um, you know that I'm doing a <clears throat> excuse me book review series called the Alaskan Skies series by Bonnie Leon, and this is the book that I have just finished for this review. So this one is book three of the Alaskan Skies series. This one is called Joy Takes Flight by Bonnie Leon. And by the looks of the book cover, each book is a novel as well. Um, so this is a three book series. And this I just finished the third book. And this is what this one is about. Newlyweds Kate and Paul are settling in their Alaskan home. In the bush country. They rejoice when Kate finds out she's pregnant, but it is soon clear that there are hurdles ahead. Should she continue in her dangerous profession as an Alaskan bush pilot? Can she really fall into the traditional role of a wife? Then disaster strikes. Life begins to unravel, and Kate fears she may have lost, lost Paul for good. Chock full of Airborne adventure, romance, and the inescapable drama of life. Joy Takes Flight is the exciting conclusion to the Bonnie Leon's Alaskan Skies series. So, this is a great book. This has 21 chapters and 321 pages, you guys. And this does not include the acknowledgments or the advertisements for um, Bonnie's other books. Um... And it did take me a while to read, you guys, but I'm glad that I did. And actually, it was never a question if I was going to finish this book because it kept me guessing till the end. And as most good books should, um, it should keep you guessing until the end because there are a lot of possibilities about what people will say or do. And this happens in real life, too. Um, and then when you realize, hey, that wasn't so bad, or I never thought that they would do this, or never thought that this would happen to me, um, there are many moments like that in real life, and, um, this book is no different, because, um, just like life is unpredictable, um, books can be unpredictable as well because the author has a vision for the book and they know what's going to happen and when and everything and you just can't predict what they're going to do. Um, usually in books there's some sort of conflict. Um, there's characters and there's a lot of things that can happen in between, um, in between what the main problem is and the way they go to resolve those, um, questions or conflicts or relationships or whatever it might be. Um, so, um, this book kept me guessing until the very end and I was like, oh, that's a good conclusion and I'm not going to give away the ending, you guys, because... There are some people that that reading or a movie is ruined because you know you give away a major a major event in the movie that they're going to see and then they think that everything is ruined because you were like you gave away the ending or 
really is she going to you know whatever it is and yeah that's a major turn off for some people and they're like I just don't want to watch the movie anymore so there's that um so this book does have a Kindle edition and I will put a link down in the description below to where you can find it um so the synopsis of the book says it all um, this is the third book in the series. Kate and Paul are married and um, they're settling in and the the conflict of women staying home or working or even both is really rampant in our society as well. Um, there, there is really not a way women can win in this society with working and staying home or maybe they do both and and they choose to do it that way and that's okay um, a lot of people need to find what works for them and the conflict is real the struggle is real um, anyway <laughs> okay so this is adventurous this has romance, and this has drama, much like the TV series that you guys like to watch on TV. Um, it's a lot like that, but it's a little bit longer than a half hour to an hour like most TV shows are, um, or it can be. I think most are only about 30 minutes or so full of drama, and then there's a conclusion, or there's a running story. So, um, this is a book that I think I would read again, um, if not for the drama or the romance or the adventure, but for the picturesque descriptions in the book that make you, make you imagine what it was like to be in the air or to do something, um, that you know nobody else might not have done before um, the feelings are real the, the, the characters are real and it's all around a great book um, for those that have read the book did you like it did you hate it um, let me know in the comments down below um, if you've read this book before um, for those who haven't read this um, this is the third book in the series and for you to thoroughly uh, enjoy the book, I'm sure that you will want to um, read the first two books to get a feel for the story and to see what the kind of backstory is to these people that you are going to meet in this book. Um, that's just a recommendation anyway. All right, you guys, I think that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, keep reading, don't stop believing, and we will see you again next week. Bye guys!